Hey everybody, and welcome back to another painting video, commission painting video as it is. Um, I finished up my last project, and I will be showing you some photos of that. But let me just sneak this in here. This is uh, this is Proteonk. Uh, this one's from Mears Miniatures, and that. Pink Horror there is, of course, a conversion. He didn't come with that. Um, and I really like the rock from Ultra Forge. Um, the one thing you're not going to see in the photos is like this little detail here, that little blue eye. And you can kind of see that one in the photo but not really well. I'm just really happy with how those turned out and I really should have photographed them and I might do that again before they get shipped out but until then that's really the best look at those at those features. Um, yeah depending on how this video turns out I may just throw photos at the end. Um, if you follow my Flickr then, uh, and I'll, I'll put a link to that in the description, but, uh, yeah, I, I, that's where I post everything first, as far as the final pictures go. Uh, and actually, let me give you a quick overview, because I post pictures in a lot of different places. Uh, Facebook, sometimes. Tumblr tends to get my, uh, work-in-progress shots. Um, I'm not sure why I decided that that's where I was going to do that, but that's where I do that. Uh, and then Flickr for the the final shots. I sometimes post to Twitter as well, but those are usually the same things from from my Flickr account. But at the moment now, I am working on a dust project, and this is the uh, Axis NDAC Comp Group, um, which is sort of one of the starter sets, and. Uh, the paint scheme is going to be a three color, three color camo with, uh, the yellow, red, brown, green. And yesterday, what I primarily worked on was just painting faces on all of the guys. And there is a somewhat of a, there we go, come on. So one of the nice things about the uh, the Dust Minis is that although they come pre-assembled, all the heads are just sort of tacked in place with rubber cement. So you can pull all the heads right off, which means that you can then work on on those individually and then you know the the rest of the models separately and so that gave me a chance to really focus in on on doing their faces this was from one of the heavy troops I don't know why this isn't focusing properly They're usually pretty good about that, but anyway, um, the uh, the models are pretty nice. They're not they're not great. Um, detail wise, are really good. I think it's really just the the kind of casting process and the materials um, make them uh, detail a little soft in places. And because they're already assembled, it makes it very tough to get at some of the, uh, the the mold lines. So, without actually hacking them all apart, um, it it means that they're they're not going to be all they might be. But on the other hand, you know the the faces are all going to be cool because you know those come right off, uh, and that's really nice because some of the models have. Let me see if I can find an example. Yeah. Like this guy, for example, uh, the head would be right up against his weapon. 
so there'd be really no way to paint it were it fixed in place. So, so yeah, that's that's where I'm going today, and uh, you know I'm I'm already as I've been <laughs> every other uh, every other video I've been mentioning how I'm a little behind and. But after getting started on this, I feel like I'm going to catch up. Uh, I have this project. I have a uh, Small World Deluxe Edition or Designer's Edition. I can't remember which it is. Um, pieces. So it's a board game project. And then I have uh, a Reaper Bones Undead Dragon, which is badass. And I can't wait to do that one. Uh, and then we move on into April and April projects. I still have some spaces left open, um, but it's starting to close up. So again, if you need something done, contact me immediately so that we can get it going in April. Um, in the meantime, I think I'm just going to show you the photos of that last project. Oh, actually, let me show you one more thing from that project because it's not in the photos yet. And uh, here, we'll even back this off a little. So this is the Forge World Lord of Change. And what you're going to see differently in the photos is his wings. His wings had a whole bunch of pink down here originally. And uh, both myself and the client agreed that... Um, it wasn't his best feature so uh, I brought it more in line with the rest of the models that I've done with him really happy with this guy very high the lighting in here isn't great right now for showing this off but you can see the in the photos um, yeah he's uh, he's really fun and then again we have the the blue eye and really awesome face so anyway uh that's gonna be it for now stay tuned for the photos and i will talk to you again in the very near future take care